it going guys, Archer Blake C here, and we are finally back on the set. Uh, I've been doing a bunch of sit down videos, haven't really gotten time to stand up and present myself to you once again, uh, but you can tell by the intro, I'm definitely still comfortable here, and I'm on a really huge Star Wars kick. I got these really cool, uh, like new figures and stuff, I got this Kylo Ren uh, pop figure, and some other pop figures down at the bottom that you can't see, uh, but I've been playing a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Uh, so that intro was a tribute to that. Uh, so, sorry. Anyway, Bakugan stuff. I finally got my hands on some Armor Delete stuff um, post-event. Uh, so, at the event, uh, obviously, I got the uh, great uh, and illustrious Dragonoid with the uh, Pyro Cannon on top of them with the little guns and stuff. Um, but I didn't get any other Baku gear with that. So, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting ever so patiently because everybody around the country it seems like uh, has been getting the Armored Alliance stuff and finally today we restocked and I received these uh, so Archer Black She the old lady found these at Walmart um, this is all they had uh, another local brawler found the uh, Halcor uh, with the cool claw things that he has uh, but we finally have my boy trucks which I was trying my hardest at the event to get this. I got trucks. Uh, this was a gift to me, actually, from one of the employees, because uh, they know my history with trucks. Um, and I also found this Hydras. Uh, so we have two new Bakugan with new Baku gear, uh, and we're gonna look at the contents. We're gonna get take a good look at the packaging, too, uh, and do some comparisons with some stuff I have, uh, and check out the really cool differences, and uh, check out what's coming in the, uh, in the new year, 2020, baby. Cool Bakugan stuff, I'll see you on the table. First off, we're gonna do uh, Hydra's Ultra, uh, which has the Wings of Aquas attachment. Um, and with these new Baku gear, uh, you'll notice that you get one Ultra Bakugan uh, and one Battle Gear, or Baku Gear, uh, in reference to Battle Gear that they used to be. Uh, and then you'll get two uh, little gears that fit into the little holes on the uh, body of the Bakugan. Uh, and we'll take a really good look at those here in a second. Um, and I want to take my time with this video because when I did my videos at uh, the event, I was kind of rushed. I was in like the little back room and, you know, the ninja kids were running around and it was kind of crazy. So I had to uh, make haste. But uh, I'm going to take my time here and make sure we get a good look at these things. Uh, they're really nice. So uh, we're just going to do our normal de deal here and take them out of the packaging, lay them out on the table, and I'll go through each one in... Uh, pretty good detail. Uh, we have Trox Ultra here too with the Ventus Cyclinator, uh, which is a really cool card art and also a really cool looking gear. So uh, we're going to open these bad boys up, uh, get them out on the table, and show them off to you guys. So we'll see you there. All right, we got these things open, and uh, I'm just going to stress again, again, since I was kind of rushed in my last video about this stuff, I love the designs of the new Armored Alliance Bakugan, um, especially this new Hydras. I just think it's such a great turnaround uh, from what we got last go around. Um, it definitely looks like a lion to me uh, instead of like a strange um, creature with a weird hat. Uh, <laughs> the magnets on his tail, so that freed them up a little bit design wise. Uh, I love his face, looking really cool, uh, and just the design as a whole. Um, Trox. My favorite Bakugan, my favorite character for Bakugan. I love that you can open his mouth. Uh, you can do all these funny, crazy things with him. Um, and his little tiny arms. Uh, this design is kind of, I don't know, controversial. I don't know. Some people don't like it. I love it. Uh, I mean, it's my favorite Bakugan, so I wasn't going to be mad about what they did with him. But, I mean, you can't. I, it's a dinosaur. Like, it, you open this up, it's sitting on the table, it looks like a dinosaur, you know what it is. It's not like Hydrus from the first go around where you didn't necessarily know it was a lion. You'd have to be like, hey, it's a lion. And everybody was like, oh, no, this is a dinosaur, okay? Uh, it's it's very good design. Um, we'll get into the gears and stuff uh, kind of towards the end. That'll be like the little finale for all this. But let's get into what these packs uh, contain. Um, you get two cards, just like usual. You get a character card, but now... With these gear packs, you're going to get a Baku gear card. Uh, so it's just like an action card, uh, hence the red backing. Two cores, um, and in these sets that contain Baku gear, so the ones that are going to have a little Baku gear on the side, 
you're going to get two cores or cores anyway that whether it's two uh, I don't know specifically um, but you'll get two cores that have a subtraction of the cost of a Baku gear card which we'll talk about in detail here shortly um, two gear or one gear and two mini gear I don't know what they're actually calling those uh, they're in kind of reference to Bakugan Nano we don't know if that's necessarily what's going on but you can assume um, so uh, other contents in the package uh, of course you're gonna get your fold up uh, instructions and I have to say uh, the folding up for the new Bakugan has been immensely immensely um, made easier uh, for anyone uh, I know that that was a complaint for people um, so they definitely worked on that you've seen this before on my channel um, but for those of you who are new uh, this is the new list uh, I'm just gonna kind of pan it around for you to pause and take a gander at uh, new core Bakugan new cool stuff got Simoga here don't know when that's gonna be happening uh, but shout out to Simo cool guy uh, really cool guy uh, and then who knows when Jet's Bakugan will be coming out the uh, lord and reigning champion of the Bakugan card game uh, we'll have to see I'm really excited for Ramparian uh, Ramparian, Ramparian uh, that Bakugan really has me interested uh, and Enoch is our new antagonist Enoch is very cool check out a video on M Stubbs channel and I think Baku Blade Legacy got those at the event uh, they are awesome uh, really cool box gun. Uh, besides that, we get a new kind of rule sheet. It's kind of big, so I'm just put it on the table here. Um, new rule sheet uh, that explains everything. You can get a look, good look at the the uh, colorful like core uh, layout that you're gonna have now with the game because uh, the new core designs, which I didn't necessarily highlight, but you've seen them by now. Um, everything looks great. Uh, this is the rules for the basic version of the game. Uh, you roll out, land on a core, and uh, add your B powers together, and uh, who wins, wins. Nothing too crazy. Great for the kids, uh, and this is in a different language. So, um, um, let's go ahead and look at Hydrus. Uh, I already gave you a pretty good look at it earlier in the video, but I'll give it one more pass around here. Um, I love this design. It rolls relatively straight. Um, I did lose my matches at the event to Jake Illinuck. My matches. <laughs> I wish I had multiple matches. My match uh, against Jake Illinuck uh, in the, at the tournament because of... Let's see. I'm sure you got to roll him up here. Got a good angle in the camera. Okay, so basically you're going to be... First of all, roll his little manual feet up in the back. A few more manual parts on these guys, uh, but not a big deal. Roll his feet up. I always push this head in, and what that head does is lift this lever. Uh, kind of back behind his head you can kind of see that and what that lever does is hold this uh, kind of um, I don't know panel that is connected to his back kind of his spine or whatever uh, do that push these down and then all you got to do is close this off uh, and that kind of locks it down uh, and there it is so the things I'm talking about with this are these little nubs uh, next to his head you can kind of see them there I was catching those in a really bad spot also wasn't rolling very well at the time. I've since learned a fantastic rolling technique, uh, courtesy of Jet, of course, um, and uh, it works really well. So uh, this is actually a pretty heavy Bakugan, um, really straight rolling, uh, and it, like I said, it's heavy, so that's a big uh, plus for a lot of people. Can I do the thing? Probably not. Can I get in here? No, I, I missed. I'll, I'll do that later. <laughs> um, but, cool. Uh, so that's Hydra's. Uh, we'll show the gear and everything here in a bit. But, uh, moving on, let's go ahead and look at the cores. So, these are the cores that I'm talking about. Let's move them up here. Uh, first, we have a red shield, the new design. Cute, uh, of course, uh, beautiful design. Um, a lot of color, a lot of vibrancy. Uh, and you turn it over, and this is a red shield that gives you 250B and minus 1 to the gear symbol. So I'm gonna go ahead and spoil the card for you here. Uh, we, um, Baku thrusters. Uh, so let's say we pick up this core. Okay, I'm at a good angle here. Uh, we pick up this core and you can notice this symbol says minus one to the energy and this symbol down at the bottom of the card designates that this card is a Baku gear. Also by the text Baku gear here. Uh, this card when played you will attach to the character card 
I'll show you this. It's a 605 uh, Red Fist uh, Red Shield. I, I don't think it's awful. Uh, 600 is nothing, uh, nothing too bad, and 5 damage is pretty cool. Um, I see people attaching these different ways. Uh, I uh, Just from being in Pokemon a lot, uh, I tend to do this so I can see my effects off to the side. Because um, some of these Baka gear, like the ones you're going to get in the set, uh, the gear cards that you're going to get and the and the character cards that you're going to get out of packaging um, are not going to have flavor text or effect text on them whatsoever. They're only going to have numbers and symbols. Uh, so Shadow Strike, Double Strike, um, uh, and like Attack Power, B Power, Plus Attack Power, uh, Plus B Power, any of that stuff. Uh, will show up on these cards, but no kind of uh, battle text in them at all. Uh, that is a move made by Spin Master in order to streamline their international marketability with these things and easier shipping. Uh, so hopefully that means that, uh, you know, uh, Europe will be getting these around the same time as we are now um, and rolling things out smoothly. Uh, and with that rolling out smoother, maybe we have a better shot of getting cards out smoother. Um, whether or not that correlates with the cards or not, I don't know. I'm taking a guess that, that it would at least help. I mean, you can't say that it wouldn't help. Um, uh, so we'll just have to see. Um, anyway, so uh, I attach it like that. I saw some people taking it and placing it under the card here. Uh, or even if it doesn't have any text, just under the card here. And it kind of makes for a cool like addition to the card and you get like a, a cool little setup there. So um, depending on how you do it, it's whatever. Uh, but Baku Thrusters 303 for four, uh, I'm not that into it. Uh, I don't know if the real one, quote unquote, pro card uh, is going to have any uh, flavor text or not. So the cool part, here we go. Um, let's open up Hydrus. Opens up, oh, pretty cool stand there. Uh, and here's the fun part. So. Uh, we have our fun little gear, uh, which are not the Baku thrusters. Um, just because the card comes with the set doesn't mean that that's what you get. It's kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Um, but as we've seen before, the hex holes on the body of the Bakugan are here. Uh, those are to hold the little gear. So I'm going to go ahead and place these right in there. Uh, they stick, stick in uh, really, uh, really firm. They don't feel like they're going anywhere. They're not going to move around. I'll do the same with the other here. Um, and they're in a good spot, so he's got little rocket boosters on them. Pretty cool. Uh, these are going to be really cool to play around with Core Bakugan uh, from the new set. Um, I have a Ventus uh, Nilius we might play around with later. Uh, but there's that. But the real highlight of this is Wings of Aquas, which I've been waiting to do this for a while because I love it. It's really cool. Um, take it. Um, there's arrows on the gear here that tell you which way is up. Uh, and you kind of match that with your magnet. Place it on, and now your Hydrus is a Blade Liger from Zoids. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, these are the Wings of Aquas, which there is a card for. Uh, it's pretty cool art, actually, too. Um, just not what comes with it. The gear is also going to have the faction symbol on it, um, which, again, these toys have nothing to do with the card game. If you're worried about having to buy toys to play the card game, uh, you don't necessarily need the toys. What you are going to kind of need to play the card game are the cores that come with this set. I didn't show you the other core. Sorry, this one's good too. Red Fist, uh, 200B, plus 3 attack, and then minus 2 to uh, to a gear. Anyway, um, here is Hydras with the wings of Aquas and some little cannons. Um, this thing's dope. Uh, I love it. I think there's going to be... A couple more factions with this Wings of Aquas thing, which is going to be weird. I guess it'll be like Wings of Chaos or whatever, uh, but really awesome. And this has just got me really excited to move on to trucks. So say bye to Hydrus. Uh, it'll be up on the shelf over there uh, in all its glory, um, replacing the other Hydrus I have. So let's move on to trucks, uh, my boy. Um, get a good look at them. Uh, I gave you a good look at them at the beginning of the video, but again, one more pass around. A very good boy. I uh, got the Ventus logo here on his thigh, and the mouth moves, and he has a little there's a fly in the room. Get out of here. Get off my trucks. Um, mouth opens. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with him, uh, and yeah, very cool. Let's move on to what he comes with. So again, the highlight of these packs really 
uh, you get uh, some really good red fists. Um, so 200B uh, plus three uh, minus two to the um, Bakugir. I'm still getting used to saying all these things. Bakugir cost, which this is a really good core. And if you get these two together, you get two of these. If you're playing a red fist deck, um, that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, if you're playing re, mm, I'll get into that later. <laughs> Gets a little, uh, a little crazy. But we have another one here for plus five damage minus one um, gear. Uh, so that's not terrible. But I'd much rather be playing something like this. Um, yeah. So cool. Trox Ultra. Let's see his card. You've seen it before here on the channel. Um, double red fist. So if you want to throw this in with uh, Hydronoid, why not? But why not play Power Creep Boys anyway? Uh, 505, uh, standard, I guess. Nothing too, too crazy whatsoever. Um, and, uh, pretty good card quality. Nothing's messed up at all. It's actually probably the best cut Bakugan cards I've had. This one's flat and everything. This is actually probably the best cut Bakugan card I've ever had. Yep, a little ding up in the corner there, but, um, really cool card. I love the art. Neutrox art's great. And now we have Baku Mortar which is not the thing it comes with again, uh, whatever. So as you see, we have Shadow Strike on this card, so that's a symbol. Uh, you will receive symbolage, just no text in the text box here. Uh, five energy for Shadow Strike, 300 and plus six. Um, it's not awful, uh, plus six damage, and again, these are continuous too, uh, is not the worst thing in the world. Um, five energy might be a little tough, but you land on this bad boy, it's now three energy. Um, three energy for 306 continuously is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, so I'm okay with this card. Um, we'll have to see its viability in the future. Uh, but let's go ahead to the fun part again. Uh, Trox has these little doohickeys on the back here. That's where these go. There's some cool little like rockets. Uh, pretty neat little guys. I'm gonna stick it in there. They sit kind of straight up and here. They're sitting in there like that. Uh, kind of weird on their own, to be honest with you. <laughs> Just like little jetpacks on a dinosaur. But, cool part is, where's the arrow? Arrow's here. Uh, so this comes here. His magnet is at the tip of his tail here. This arrow is pointing this way. And this is called Ventus Cyclinator. Uh, and that is going to, oh, it's actually going to whip around. It's actually going to be kind of cool. So we're going to drop it. And it goes, I think I did it wrong. No, wait. Anticlimactic. Hold on. Oh, I see how this works. Uh, all right. After some uh, messing around with this, it's much better if you set it on the table and then activate the gear. So, um, put it in here. Uh, arrows facing that way. His tail's down here. Put it down. And just kidding, he falls over. Anyway, <laughs> this is the effect we're going for. Here we go. All right. So he has like these giant laser guns sitting on his thighs with these big, like laser turbines um on like his thigh or whatever charging up the guns i love this thing it's so cool it makes trucks look so beefy and strong <laughs> it's really awesome uh so uh collector wise these are great to pick up competitive wise the bakugan themselves aren't the craziest uh and of course you're getting a possibly diminished version of a gear card um but for the cores um, and, you know, receiving a cool Bakugan, um, I think they're worth to pick up $13, I think, $12 to $13. Uh, so a little more than the old Ultras and less than a three-pack. Uh, and you're technically getting, like, two things. So pretty good price point. Um, and you get genuinely pretty decent cores. These Red Fists, uh, just pick up these two guys, uh, just to get these two Red Fists. I mean, they're really good. Um... But yeah, so those are the new gears uh, and Bakugan. They're really beefy. Look how big they are. <laughs> like sitting on the table, they're massive. Like next to a card, they fill up the whole dang thing. So um, really cool stuff. I'm really happy to have this. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stupid little intro um, and everything like that. So uh, I hope to be getting more of this. Um, I don't know when we're restocking. I might talk to people about getting some. I don't know. Uh, you will have to see. Uh, so we're going to try to go weekly uploads on the channel at the best of my ability. I promise. We'll see. So thanks for watching. 
Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. I don't know. I never plugged Instagram on here. It's a really long video. You're probably not watching this, but Instagram, uh, Rage Cajun R. It's like R space X space. You have to do all that stupid stuff on Instagram. Look me up. You'll find me. Um, and uh, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think about these dudes. I love trucks. Y'all know that stuff. So, see you guys later. Uh, we got a pack opening coming up soon. So, see you there. Bye.